Hi everybody, my name is Jonah. Today my mom did cut my hair. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my son Jonah. Say hi Jonah. Hi. So today we're going to be cutting his hair today. I'm going to be showing you um, how we cut it at home. How do you like your hair Jonah? Up. He likes to style it up. So this is the comb I like to use. Okay, so we're going to spray down the hair first. Okay, so we're going to spray it down. And you want to make sure it's wet enough where it's able to mold in place. And you could use a clip for this part if it doesn't hold in place or you can just, if it's straight enough or wet enough, it should hold. Okay. This is the part we're not going to uh, be shaving off. Okay, so I'm going to do it pretty short. I'm going to do number one clipper, which is one of the shortest, and I'm just going to do the size. Okay, okay so you want to make sure you tilt the head. So it's a lot easier for you to so now you can see all this space that needs to be shaved. Just using a comb at the same time helps it all stay in place. You can keep a brush or a towel nearby so you can dust off your face just so it doesn't poke them in the eye. And covering them with a cloak, a towel, or even some sort of plastic bag around their body just to protect them from the hair helps a lot. So you can go all the way up here. It's totally up to you. I don't like to go too high up. Depending on the style too. But I like to go like a little bit more slanted on the sides. You can see it slowly taking shape. Your head please. And it's easy if you have someone to help you. If your child doesn't like to sit still. Sometimes um, Andrew distracts Jonah with an iPad or a book, anything to keep them busy. Okay, so when you're using the clipper, when you're going against the head, when you're going away and not pushing in, that's going to help prevent any like caving. You don't want to cave into the hair, so going away from it is going to give you a nice smoother finish. So make sure you're not going in like that. Um, so you want to go with the actual shape of the clipper, so sweeping really Ow. gentle will help, oh sorry, <laughs> so like this, gentle, and go with the shape of the head. So if you see like there's a part where it kind of dips down, actually go against it, because if you go into it, it'll start to cave in a little bit, so actually have it flat against the head. Where the, the part where it's sticking out the most. So turning your kid around, don't be afraid to change your positioning if it's easier for you. If you can. I'm going to blend the sides right here with the bottom. You can do a more defined line too if you like. So he likes his line. Depending on how he likes to style it. So I comb down the remaining of the hair and now I'm going to blend it. So you can either pull the hair out and blend depending on how long the hair is sticking out or you can just do this where you scoop the hair up and it'll expose the pieces that need to be cut. So you follow the guide, you go straight from the shortest piece and now you cut. I'm going to go a little bit closer so you guys can see. Another option too is you can actually take your clipper, remove the guard, and then you could always do this too. Where you scoop up the hair and remove the excess. But it's also depending on what you're comfortable with doing. Okay, so if you all want it one length, you can create your guide right here. So face this way, baby. So you can create your first guide and you can cut. I don't usually like doing it straight across. I actually like to point cut it on 
um, on an angle or into it and that what what it does is it actually softens up that look just so it's not as harsh so it's up to you how much you want to take off sometimes I even take it this way and I'll take it over here and then I'll work my way to the side so I'll show you what I'm talking about so I typically like to go this way because I find it for me it's a lot easier so I go from the crown and I pick up in the middle and I create my first cut which is my first guideline but if anytime you lose it you can just reset and do it again so take that hair straight up and then I'm going to cut on an angle and that is my guideline so now I'm going to let go of that and I'm going to take half of that grab a new section okay and now I see my guideline mixed in with that new section and then I just cut that off and then match it to the guideline and now you can take it forward. So I like this side, I like the front a little bit longer, so I kind of pull it up and then away from the face. So I pull it like that. Pull it up, away. So I like it a little bit longer. On the front. But it'll still blend in. Front away and since he likes it that way I pu push it towards the left side here the face I'm gonna blend in this side and this side so I'm just gonna softly cut off sorry with all the background sounds I feel like every time I film there's always like sounds happening in the background now you can even cross check it to make sure that it is all even. So you just look straight and it should all be pretty even. If not, you can just soften it up a bit on your point cut. Good. So it should be longer on the left side since he likes to put it that way. I like to blend it a little bit. So anything that's sticking up, I just soften it up by blending it in. There you go. So now we take our trimmers. Looks like this. And now we're going to clean up the sides. And however you want the sideburns to be, like how long you want it, that's where you're going to trim. We're going to take the trimmer and you actually take it against the hairline to line it up. Sometimes he likes little designs here, so you can add designs if you like, if you feel comfortable, go for it. So I usually tell my kid it's gonna be a little bit ticklish, it's gonna be a little bit loud so it doesn't scare them. I'm gonna start trimming the sides, okay? Tickle. So it looks like that, it's nice and clean. You can even turn it, so that way it hugs around to get even more precision. And then this part, when you go around the ears, you could actually fold the ear down. It's not going to hurt them. If anything, they just can't hear anything. Jonah, can you hear me? Oh. <laughs> Canada? Air Canada? Oh, well, we're not going to be going on a flight anytime soon. Question. And offering Canadians fun, friendly, caring, and affordable air travel. And we look forward to welcoming you. So we're going to be using Knight Rider by Kevin Murphy.
All right, we're done for this tutorial. Thanks for being my model, Jonah. Thank you, I love you. I love you too, buddy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like that button and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, you wanna play color games with me? Okay. Guess color. Wait, no, wait, that's not what it's called. Guess the color that the person likes. Okay. No. Yeah, you got it right. Wait, high five. Thank you. Let's play Simon Says. Simon Says, cut your hair.